Forget it, man! It's something we hear often with business owners. But the thing is, the numbers really do matter, especially when you're running a business. So getting comfortable with numbers is really important. In this video, I'm gonna speak about which numbers matter in your business. yet make sure you do subscribe and turn on the bell so you know next time I upload a video about all things business money. My name is Annette Ferguson and I am CEO of Annette & Co, a UK-based accounting firm. I'm a chartered accountant and certified profit first professional. As business owners, we are forced to measure some numbers for our business, for example, profit for tax purposes. And many business owners only really look at business numbers with this lens. And don't use the numbers and financials to drive key strategies or decision making. Which, in my opinion, is one of the biggest benefits of tracking your profitability. And we use numbers in our daily lives to make hundreds of small, tiny decisions that always add up to something bigger. Yet, many business owners are ignoring those numbers in their business on a daily basis. As in life, in business, these small numbers do aid us with decision making when we examine them. So what numbers actually matter in business? The first has to be profit, but perhaps not for the reason you're thinking. Yes, of course, we need to know profit for tax purposes, but that's really not where the main benefit of tracking profit comes in. You're running a commercial business. Therefore, you need to know that your business is profitable each month in order to understand that you are on the right track and that you can have longevity in your business. Ultimately, if a business is not consistently profitable, it doesn't last for that long. So the sooner you know month on month about any profit issues, the sooner you can take corrective action in your business to ensure that you have a long, healthy business. But ultimately, Profit is what we call a lagging indicator in your business. You find out after the event that you have been profitable and therefore your strategy must have worked. But what we want to really focus on is what we would call leading indicators in our business. So what are the things that we might notice long before we notice the profit and therefore can take that box that says, yes, everything's okay because ultimately our cash in the bank and where that sits is the outcome of many other things like the numbers of leads we have in, our conversion rate and the delivery of our products, goods or services to our customers and clients. We ideally want to track many, many steps back from the profit and the cash position. So for an e-commerce business, for example, a leading indicator might be the number of visits that you're getting to your website each day. Because ultimately, those visitors should, at a certain percentage, convert into customers, which converts into cash, which ultimately equals profit on your bottom line. So that way, you know that if your website visits drop, then it's likely to have an effect on your cash and profitability in your business. For a service-based business, it might be something like the number of social posts you do. You might know that if you post every day on a social media platform, that that ultimately results in a set number of inquiries into your business. You know the conversion rate of those inquiries and the average customer spend, therefore, you can predict what the bottom line is going to be as a result. If you stop doing that activity, you see a direct impact all the way down onto the bottom line of your business. So ultimately, you might need to set aside some time to work out what are the leading indicators in your business, the ones that if you notice them in enough time, you can take corrective action to try and mitigate any issues in the cash and the bottom line profit of your business. If this video is making sense to you and resonating, I would love if you want to make sure you hit that like button. 
So some other numbers that we want to think about when we are looking at numbers in our business is our conversion rate and average customer spend. I vaguely touched on these a moment ago. And those are really important numbers to track so that we can understand that we are taking the right actions and we can understand what the impact of our actions has on our business's financials. But there are some other important numbers to also be aware of and understand in our business. Things like the lifetime value of a client, the average lifetime of a client, the cost of sales as a percentage of revenue, your net profit percentage, your average length of time as a, that the client takes to pay you, that is also sometimes referred to as debtor days, and if you have stock, something called your stock turnaround time. These are all important numbers to understand, and whilst it's important to understand the number as a number, it's also important to look at the trends in the data so that you can understand if things are getting better in your business or things are getting worse. Let's say, for example, that two years ago you had a conversion rate of 40% in your business, meaning that every lead that came in, 40% of those would turn into clients. Let's say now that things have changed and your conversion rate has dropped and it's now 25% in your business. What that ultimately means is that to have the same level of new clients coming in, you're going to have to get more leads into your business. So you need to work out how to drive those leads and how to get the results that you want to get. That's why looking at these numbers as a number is important, but also understanding the trends in your business is also important and is gonna help you with the decisions in your business. Because if you suddenly need to get nearly twice as many leads into your business, you're gonna have to work out what actions need to happen within in your business to deliver those leads to deliver the bottom line that you want to deliver. So all these things are interconnected, but if you can catch those numbers early, then you can implement things much earlier than in nine months time, looking at your profit and loss account and saying, oh, why weren't we as profitable this year? Well, we know it's because your conversion rate dropped and the number of leads, you didn't increase those. We could have found out much earlier in your business and put in place things to mitigate against that drop in profit. So get started with tracking these numbers in your business. Work out what your leading indicators are and get monitoring those on a weekly basis so that you can see the trends in your business and you can understand the direction that your business is headed. Now, if you're struggling with anything accounting for your business, do reach out to me at yt at annetteandco.co.uk and let us know how we can support you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.